Hello students, uh, let us start with the unit 1, uh, it's communication skills. As you can see here, under communication skills, we have 10 sessions in it, uh, starting from introduction to communication, verbal communication, non-verbal communication, writing skills, writing skills again with parts of speech and sentences, and pronunciation basics, greetings and introduction, talking about self and asking questions, part 1 and part 2. So, uh, let us start the communication skills, okay. Yeah, it's unit 1 of your part A book. In communication skills, yeah, let us think of the title first. Communication skills, let us skip the word skills in it. Think about what is communication. When do you say a communication is happening? The answer is, when we share some information between each other, it can be two human beings or it can be two machines or it can be a human and machine, all these combinations. Wherever the information is being shared between two components, that becomes communication. Okay, If it is uh, in the case of human beings, it can be a, a talking, it can be talking or it can be uh, using phone or it can be any of the mediums human beings can use or if you are working in computer or if you are giving input uh, you, are, you are giving some input things to the computer that becomes communication between you and the computer right so communication is nothing nothing but when you share some information between each other that we call it as communication okay why this chapter is been added to your computer subject as i told you uh, in previous audio that uh, this is considered as a skill subject that helps you to improve your skills soft skills along with your computer skills right uh, then um, let us see what is actually the communication skill where we require communication skill it has been introduced to you in this subject because whenever you go for a job or even it can be your own business communication plays an important role because you need to talk with so many people right whatever transaction it may be it can be your own business or it can be in a job place you need to know a well reading you need to have a well reading skill writing skill and also speaking and even the important one listening skill also okay then only we can call it as an effective communication not affective it's effective e f f e okay then only we call them as an effective communication that makes you to go through your job or to continue your business properly and in well defined way right so that becomes an effective communication next in session one we have introduction to communication in that you can see how the word communication is being uh, delivered the word derived the communication word it has a history that it has come from you can see here in this paragraph it has it has come from a latin word called communicare right the actual meaning of the word communicare is to share okay that is the meaning that is what we are doing actually in communication right we are sharing information so it is being termed as communication right that process is being termed as communication where we are sharing information right that becomes its definition too right next we will see what are the importance of communication importance of communication is nothing but which are the places we require communication okay where are the places we require communication why we need communication that becomes its importance too right so here they have mentioned three things mainly it is one is inform second is influence influence and uh, third is express feelings right inform influence and express feelings what do you mean by inform when you want to inform something to your friend 
it can be anything it can be in the writing form or it can be in a vocal form voice whatever it can be it can be a message to your friend these all becomes your becomes an information you are giving to some other people some other person so that becomes in form in the place in the at the time when you want to inform something to somebody there you require communication the second thing is influence if you want to influence somebody influence means somebody want to change like they have given an example negotiating with a shopkeeper to reduce the price okay that can be an example right you need to influence the shopkeeper by communicating with him properly so that he can reduce the price for you it can be any language it can be any kind of uh, gestures or whatever you follow that becomes a communication between you and the shopkeeper and also one more example they have mentioned that is helping a friend to overcome stress due to exam or any other reason so your friend is in a depressed mood and uh, you need to help him to uh, make him to do well in his exams by talking you have to influence him or you want you want to motivate him with your words right at that place also you require communication so there you are influencing somebody influencing means that the opposite person who is standing he need to change himself because of your words right that becomes influencing so while you want to influence somebody there also you require communication and the third point is expressing feelings this is one of the most important one i guess while communication uh, you need to express your feelings whatever feelings it may be it can be a sad it can be happy or it can be excitement or it can be any other feeling you need to express it through your it can be a gesture on your face it can be a uh, face expression that also becomes communication if somebody is understanding your gestures or if somebody is understanding your face expressions that you are come in that place also you are communicating to each other right that also becomes communication so if we talk about let us uh, think how the question can be made on this the question can be asked like mention the importance of communication or mention the uh, areas where we require communication skills okay the questions can be asked in this way so if it is asked about the importance of communication you need to mention these three points inform influence and express feelings and write one or two lines what it doesn't need that you have to write the same lines from the textbook whatever printed in this you can give your own examples or you can write in your own words too okay this is a part a is all about your own uh, nature or uh, your own feelings so whatever you go through and whatever you understood you can mention any of the real time examples also at some points okay it's it's an open it's an open uh, questions you will you usually will be getting open questions from these chapters from part a so that you how you have understood these uh, skills you will answer according to that answer may differ to each person because each person has it have have their own communication skills and have their own feelings too so the answers for these questions may differ if it is right will give marks okay no problem for that the thing is you need to understand what they are trying to say yeah then i have a figure i can see a diagram here uh to uh, uh, communication is mainly for sending inform giving information and receiving information okay one person should be giving information and one person a person should be receiving it okay so so that is just a, a, a diagram for communication process we have a detailed one below this so this is just a small example let us go to next topic next topic is elements of communication so whenever a communication takes place what are the components that is required what happens actually in that process in the communication process what happens actually so you can see there are five steps in this starting from first step the communication process starts with a sender you have a sender and receiver that is very important when a when communication takes place okay it's 
it is not compulsory that it should be one to one communication, it can be a communication from one to many, right. So, the, but there should be two parts like there should be a sender and there should be a receiver too, right. So, here they have showed one example of one to one communication. It can be any number, right. Yeah. Starting from first step, the communication process starts with a sender. Sender should be there and he starts the communication process that becomes step 1. And step 2 is a sender sends a message giving or asking for information. He will be sending, he starts He start think, thinking that he should communicate, that becomes first step. And the second step will be, he will give some information, he will send some information. Okay, that is step 2. And step 3 is we have to think of channel. Channel is nothing but medium where the communication happens. It can be phone, it can be face to face communication or it can be any kind of writing also. It can be a mail or it can be a message or it can be a letter. Okay, All these becomes different mediums or channels where the communication happens. So that becomes third step. First step is he thinks of communication that the process starts from him and the second step is he sends some message he sends some message to receiver and the third step is the medium or the channel what he selects to communicate that is third and the fourth step is the receiver receives the message in whatever way in whatever medium the communication was the receiver receives the message from sender and the fifth step is the receiver replies to the sender. Once he receives something, sender will be expecting some reply from the receiver. So, this reply will be sent back to the sender. So, you can see it is just like a cycle that happens again and again. He, one person gives the information and one person receives it and he will send back the reply. So, this is just like a cycle that, that happens uh, when a communication process takes place. So, this is one of the important question you can consider from this uh, unit like um, with the diagram you can uh, describe the elements of communication with a diagram. So, you no need to worry about this diagram plus do not think of uh, that we should draw all these shapes and all. I, ha I have a better block diagram with me when I am giving notes, I will leave that block diagram for this question. Okay, so this is what when the question is being asked that it describe elements of this can be for 3 or 5 marks. So, when the question is asked for elements of communication, you need to draw the block diagram, whatever I will be sending in your notes and also you need to explain different steps. As you can see 5 steps here, this can be explained there with the diagram. Okay. So, this is elements of communication. Next topic is perspectives in communication. Perspectives is nothing but in what state you are when a communication process is going on, whether the past information have reached the receiver properly, it or because of some interruption it may break down at the middle itself. So, all these are the perspective of a person, how a person receiving it and the perspective of a person or the condition of a person in what condition he is when the process was going on, when the communication process was going on, in what state or in what state of mind or in what condition or in what uh, environment some per people are there, the sender and the receiver. So, that becomes each person's perspective and they have given a fine example in this you can see here. For example, if 